Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included and uh, yes, TTG's incredible ant farm is coming along. It's actually doing really well. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is deconstruct the old ration box and put everything into the new ration box. Um, Because, yeah, we want to eliminate as much useless running as possible. And other than that, it's just like, wait until a bunch of sweeping has been done. Um, not necessarily the best use of your time. But it's it's necessary. You do you need to keep your base clean. Um, and the easiest way of doing that is we ah oh, Mary got a skill. I'm not sure before I continue on with what I was talking about. To keep on. Uh, what I what I have here is basically an infinite storage area where the automatic dispenser uh, has a condition of anything that is uh, to be sweeped will go in here. If it's not uh, designated to be sweeped, uh, like if sweeping isn't uh, something that a resource for example um anything up here which hasn't been designated for sweeping they won't be collected and put into these automatic dispensers and anything that is uh, designated for to be sweeped will be put into the automatic dispensers will will spit out into these two tiles and they will drop down into this little bit of water, which is down here. Uh, this will um, keep on going until I uh, don't have anything more designated for sweeping or there's nothing uh, to sweep anymore. Uh, Regardless uh, whichever comes first, uh, I could go and say sweep everything on the whole map and they will keep on doing it until there's nothing left to sweep. Um, as long as there's nothing else that ha has a higher priority to be done. But <clears throat> at the moment, I think this is just fine. Um, we do have one hatchling egg, which I'm going to crack open. There we go. Get some raw egg. I probably should say that raw eggs aren't... Or is it not... Is it not considered a consumable or what? I mean, I mean, you do. We have meal lice. We have the muck root. We have the nutrient bar. We have the meat. We have the bristle berries and the mushrooms. Um, 
I'm not sure Act actually And th this would go so much faster if we had what what uh, you could call super duplicates, which ha has uh, like insane attribute levels. But yeah, we can't be that picky, really. I should probably increase the downtime by like increase it by one because there is a lot of running around. I have decreased it by moving the ration box to the right side closer to the mess hall. But it's still not super close. Yeah, and we are coming along. It is getting is less and less uh, laying around, which is good. Uh, new print balls. Let's see. Uh, we iron gut is actually really good because you can't. Uh, at that point, you can eat anything with germs. Like, eating food contaminated with food poisoning germs will not affect this duplicate, which is really good, but... Small bladder is... Yeah... Not good. It means they go to the... They go to the bathroom a lot. Yeah, curative tablet... Uh, I'm just going to take those, because... Uh, if I remember correctly, those are the... The ones that... Alleviates food poisoning, right? Uh, so if any, any du duplicate really get um, food poisoning for some reason, it's fine. Uh, we have uh, some... Uh, some uh, small amount of cures for, for food poisoning. Um, other than that...
I don't think there's much else to do at this point, really. No fabrication queued. Yeah, at this point, there's. I, I have to say that it's maybe a bit boring, um, but it, it is this boring like midsection where we need to clean. <laughs> Because if we don't do it now, we will have to do it later anyway, so we can do it now. <laughs> we are in... We are in a bit of food deficit. That's also really, like... A, like... The situation we are in now is... It's a stage where we need to check house our food production and sorry <coughs> oh oh sorry about that um we have to check really are are we having a deficit or do we actually have an increase and as it as it seems we do have a deficit we're not producing this we're not producing enough from how much we eat we do need to we do need to increase our production a little bit um And I think what we're going to do is just do something like this. Deconstruct that one and that one and that one and that one and we're going to do this. A little bit of fluorescent but not a lot. Ooh. Can remove this one. I'm not going to sweep up what's down here. Um, I, I really can't be bothered with doing it. And this is only so I can just keep on getting more planted boxes in without doing a bunch of weird stuff. Now we are going to copy the settings and just move them over. And we are finally starting to clear out the mess hall and that's super good we have no seed available okay hopefully we do get a seed from the next harvest um to put in the next one uh, and this hopefully oh gene has a skill hopefully this means we see i mean i could do I mean, the me mechatronics engineering is actually something you do need. And she has the... the heart for it. And tidying, tidying, and... But I think I'm going to go with digging, because... Yeah. Digging through abyssalite is going to be required at some point, so... 
getting it sooner or later is let's hope we get a seed yeah we do have a seed so we're fine uh there we go and what's good about um mealwood is it can grow in oxygen polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide so as long as you have like oxygen or carbon dioxide in your base you're fine with growing mealwood anywhere as long as it's not too hot or too cold of course and uh, yeah we are starting to clean out the mess hall um, then we do need to clean out the barracks because you actually need to have a positive decor um, so you don't gain a bunch of stress. We're not gaining stress just yet, but it's a, let's say, safety precaution for later on when we will need a lot of um, morale. To not gain stress. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I'm not sure which way we're going to go. If we're going to go to the left, or we're going to go right up, or or the right, or like we will need to go down um, at some point to get to oil. Uh, we will need to get up to get to space, um, and we will need to go like left and right as well to we will need to search basically all the corners of the map I think it's too bad I can't zoom out more than I can um, I actually want to zoom out a bit more but I can't do it there's a mod if I remember correctly that allows you to zoom out more but I'm not sure how compatible it is so going to refrain from using a bunch of mods to change because I'm still uh, recording on the day of the release so or rather no I'm not uh, but it's like an hour ago since the day flipped so yeah it's 1 a.m. Uh, or rather, 0058, so... Two minutes until 1am. Um, but yeah, it, it's like... Not that long ago since the... The game was released as... As 1.0. And it is the update is called the launch update, so and we are getting along uh, the uh, with the cleaning of the base. Um, it's actually not that much left over here. Uh, it probably took way longer than it should have uh, because of. The storage bins I had in the middle section. But yeah, it's it's actually coming along uh, quite nicely. Uh, probably one or two cycles until it's cleaned up. Probably. There's really no guarantee of, like, 
or, or knowing of how long it will take. Um, but probably not that much longer. I probably will need one more oxygen diffuser over like here. And I will move one over there and I will drag a cable like this. So they are on the same power network. But other than that, yeah, I'm probably going to have to plan where I'm going to go next. Let's see how the options now. Anemic is bad because we get athletics minus five. It's probably one of the worst things ever to get, I would say. Uh, because athletics, you're going to be so slow, it's like unbelievable how slow you're going to be. So I usually avoid anemic because it's annoying. It's not devastating like mouth breather can be or like some other stuff and binge eat is bad and germ resistance is nice early bird is whatever irritable bows is mm, squeamish is just a can to doctoring stuff mouth breather is one of the worst traits there is anemic is like second tier uh, when it comes to bad traits i would say uh, the one that increases consumption of the like oxygen and increases the consumption rate of food those are tier one of bad traits like the absolute worst one you can get and then you have tier two like the second worst kinds which is anemic and irritable bowels which actually can be quite bad depending on how it plays out uh, and a few other other ones. Jokel uh, can be bad if everyone has it. No one can science, uh, for example. Uh, but then there's like squeamish, like it's really whatever. Won't be in the way, but it won't be helpful either. Uh, but no, I'm. I'm the care package, I don't want a direct load. Uh, all three of these aren't acceptable for one reason or another. Uh, be it interest or traits. That's make make them undesirable. Uh, desirable. But um, yeah, I'm going to reject them, reject them all. Because I'm not interested in having to have a sub-optimal duplicant consuming oxygen and food and they're just not going to be helpful they're just consuming resources that's no not going to happen <clears throat> there is a mod um, if you want like a, a bit more challenge there is a mod which um, gives you duplicants. It doesn't give you the option to choose. It just gives you duplicants uh, periodically. Like every three cycles, for example, you get a new duplicant. And that's, I mean, that's a challenge you can go for if, if you get to the point where uh, you don't actually have any 
problems running your base. That's a challenge you could try. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm a bit picky and I have enough experience knowing that that w could be so bad <laughs> because you can could get so many mouth breeders you could get so many like bottomless stomach uh, duplicates that you run out of food so f so quickly it's could be insane <laughs> um Okay, that tile is actually clear, but that one isn't. So it's two tile up. I think this one is three, right? Yeah, it's three tiles. Yeah. Um. Um, yeah, and as you can see, the emptying of this is super slow. But as soon as you get uh, some duplicates with a decent amount of strength, you will actually like clean out these kind of uh, kinds of places quite quickly. Um, but I mean, I mean, look at. Strength of one. It goes super slow. So I'm actually going to move you. So you are not the one doing it. But the one with a higher strength one is doing it. So it actually goes a bit faster. Uh, yeah, there, there's a, a few things which, even if they have an interest in it, you might not want them to do it. If they don't have enough, um, like a high enough s skill for it, and I think the time for the, this episode will be quite nicely timed with the next cycle ending. So, and the 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 bedroom and the mess hall is cleaned out. Nice. That's so nice. Finally. Uh, I will do this though. Let's just quickly check. Uh, we do have a bit of dirt with germs on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to designate all of them. Click on the dirt which has germs and just boom, cancel the sweep on it. Let's see. There's no germs on that one. Good. <laughs> yeah, and... Um Cleaning up the, uh, the bathroom is actually really good for decor as well, because yeah, outhouse and um, uh, compost uh, do give you a mm, yeah a, a big malice to decor. Uh, it's not it's not a very good looking place. Um, the wash basins do increase the looks, but. Yeah, not a lot. And Gossman has ath uh, Athletics 5, who so is running quite quickly at this point uh, in comparison to the beginning. <laughs> and this is, I would probably not take on more than 10 duplicates. Because what I've found, um, 
during the almost 300 hours I've played the game um, through the early access is having more than 10 of them is not necessarily a good thing. Do you actually have the... Yeah, so you bathroom time takes a bit longer. Okay. Um, yeah, so having... Like having um, more than 10 duplicates can actually be bad for your food. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I need, I need more. Uh, as I can see, I need more uh, mealwood. Or, or, yeah, mealwood that produces meal lice. Um, because we don't have enough food. We probably can't put seeds in all of them at this point, but some of them should be possible. And once the sweeping is done, they will put in more. Yeah, we need f five more seeds. I'm actually going to do this. We're going to do this. Trying to find more seeds is crucial. <laughs> we really do need more seeds. We did get a bit of muck root there, so... That's nice. And one muck root there. Um, okay, you deconstruct that one. Uh, you should be able to get out then. There we go. Um, I'm going to harvest that muck root and we are going to cut into that one. Yeah, getting a like digging around and finding muck root is a really good thing. Um, for, for some reason, it is. Um, it has helped uh, quite a lot with with um, oxygen. I am going to turn off the oxygen diffuser at this point. And oh, I went over time, but whatever. Um, uh, yeah. What I'm going to do then is just call it here in the middle. Uh, because we are going to have to look around a bit and see where we are going to go next. We have cleaned up a bunch of stuff. Uh, we need to fix the food situation at this point. We do need more food. And... Mealwood, sure, it's not bad, but we will need some better things. We need better food than mealwood. Um, and uh, I will... I will need... I will have to, like, decide which direction I'm going to explore next, and... I'm going to show you what I'm, like planning to build because it's something which it's good to know uh, of when it comes to oxygen not included and how things interact with one another uh, but with that uh, i think we're going to call it here so thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one